Hey, this is Tristan at Hip Cooks in West Los Angeles, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make TGI Friday's potato skins, and I found this recipe at food.com. Alrighty, so let's get going on our baked potato skins. I've got my baked potato skins here, and what I have done is I had my russet potatoes, cut them in half, I sprayed the uh, pan with Pam, and then um, cooked them baked down like this. Okay, but what I wanted to show you really is how to take out the inside of the potato. So once they're baked, it takes about a half hour, um, you can cut around the edge of the potato. And with a spoon, scoop out the middle. And you can save this middle part for mashed potatoes or the garbage, whichever you like. Okay. So these are your baked potato skins that have been cut in half and cleaned out and ready to go. So the next thing we need to do is take some melted butter. I have about a tablespoon of melted butter. My oven is set at 375. I want to brush those skins. Now we need to season them with butter and I have some seasoning salt. All right. I'm using seasoning salt that has sugar and paprika, onions and garlic. So you can always make your own with that combination. So sprinkle those on there. Okay, these are gonna go in the oven for about 15 minutes. We really just want them to get a little crispier on the inside and then uh, we'll talk about what goes on top. Alrighty, while my baked potato skins are baking in the oven or getting toasty in the oven, going to start on the bacon that goes on top of our potato skin. So I've used five pieces of bacon and I've just cut them into little pieces like this and we'll get those into a hot pan. Make sure when you put them in that you get all the pieces nice and separated. Get them spread out in the pan and let it rip. Okay, the bacon's looking good. I've stirred it a couple times. Um, I've also used some paper towel and blotted a lot of the oil in there just so that we could get nicely cooked bacon and not burned bacon. So have a plate ready to dump your bacon onto and we can see that there's still a lot of grease with your paper towel. All right, spread that out. So we want that bacon to get crisp, so move it away from the fat. Let's get those potato skins out of the oven. Okay. Applying that butter and applying that salt, we left those in for about 10 minutes. The insides now have a little bit of crispiness. So now we just have to doctor them up with our lovely favorites. Cheddar cheese. Really however much you want. I'm just doing a little sprinkle inside. Keep your oven on because once we get these filled and garnished, we're gonna put them back in the oven for one minute. So if you have some vegetarian friends, just leave a couple of these without bacon. Then you've got an easy vegetarian, non-vegetarian dish. And over here, I've chopped up some green onion. So just a couple sprinkles of green onion, add nice color and flavor. Okay, back into the oven for one minute so we can melt up that cheese. All righty, these were in the oven for a minute just to melt that cheese. And we will top it off with sour cream right in the middle, just a little dollop. Okay, move on to a plate. Already our baked potato skins are ready to serve. They look like TGI Fridays. Do they taste like TGI Fridays? I'd have to say they do. And that is how to make TGI Friday's Baked Potato Skin. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see any other videos, please send your emails to request at mahalo.com. And in the meantime, check out our other videos.